Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka V and Bodega Cat, and today we have a tour scheduled. Just recently I realized the amazingness of bow buns. Don't ask me how I grew up in New York City and hadn't had a bow bun until like last month. Since then, I've discovered several places in New York City that have vegan bow buns, but I've only ever tried one, which is where we're stopping at our first location, Spring Cafe. The bow buns there are amazing, and I just wanted to set a high standard to begin with so I know where to compare everybody else to. So we're gonna get one bun at each place. Two of the places are fully vegan, and two of them have vegan alternatives. The ones with vegan alternatives, I think, specialize in bow buns, whereas the ones that are fully vegan are like Asian inspired and just have vegan bow buns. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna try at each place if there's more than one option. The one I think I would like the most, you know, to give a place a fair shot. We're gonna compare sizes, prices, deliciousness, range of options, all of the above. And we're gonna find out who has the best vegan bao bun in New York City. So without further ado, let's get going. Our first bao bun location is the only one I've ever tried before. It's in Chinatown at 153D Center Street. They have a really good price on bao buns, which is why I included them in a $5 video in the past. They have braised tofu skin, braised tofu, braised gluten, ginger vegan chicken, and black pepper mushroom. I've had the braised tofu skin and the ginger vegan chicken before, and I'm kind of torn over whether or not I should stick to the braised tofu skin to give it a fair shot, because I know it's delicious, or try a new flavor. We'll see what I choose when I get inside. Hi. Good, how are you? Yeah. Can I please have a braised tofu skin yeah. bao bun? Okay. That's 327. Thank you. Ooh, beautiful. Thank you so much. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, not like my best angle, but I think it's the best we're gonna get. We're just gonna roll with it. The size of this bao is intimidating. Can you believe this was only $3? Okay, so this is the size of my hand. This is the size of the bao bun. I might need a Tupperware. It's so good. They're doing construction, by the way, so hopefully you can hear me. The texture, that's why I love tofu skin, because it has like layers like this. And then the bao is so fluffy, or the bun, it's delicious. I'm gonna stop because I'm afraid of being too full by the time I get to my last location, but it is so hard to stop. They have greens in here and like a little bit of pepper, but it's not spicy. It's a little sweet, peanuts, spring onion, and obviously the braised tofu, last bite. I'm gonna put this away. The value on that bao bun is ridiculous. $3, it's so filling, it's high in protein, it's high in yum factor, and they do also have the deal that's two for $5.50, so amazing. I wanna give this a nine out of 10. It's delicious, it's inexpensive, and I'm a happy camper. I don't know what else, like this is setting a high standard. I love the bows here, please try them. Whether or not they win this tour, please give Spring Cafe a try. All right, so the next place I'm going to, I've been told to go here for ages, and that is Buddha Bodai. They are fully vegan, and it's a nine minute walk, and I've been told they have good bow buns. So, we're gonna walk on over and give them a try. Honestly, other than the little tourist traps with the knickknacks and shit, Chinatown is for sure my favorite neighborhood in New York City. Like the cute little shops and restaurants and the cheap produce. 10 out of 10. I think I may have completely gone to the wrong place. This is definitely an apartment building, not food. I'm gonna go back around the corner and see if I can find it. Okay, found it. There we go. It only has a B health rating. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. All right, guys. Oof, too close. There we go. I've secured the dumplings. I didn't feel much in there because it was like weird. I don't know. So it was $3.80 and he said there's gonna be three in here. I did not ask for a plastic bag, but I forgot to not ask for a plastic bag. Also, now that I've opened these, they're the different kind of bao buns than I expected. They are the ones that look like dumplings. How can you tell the difference between the ones that look like dumplings and the ones that are like sandwiches? Like the ones that look like steamed buns and the ones that look like sandwiches. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so this is what we have. The ones that look like dumplings, which is not what I intended to film today. Maybe I should have checked. Whatevs. Each one of these were a dollar and, what's 80 divided by three? Like 27 cents, something like that. I don't know. Let's give it a try. So there were three options. No, four options. 
lotus seed veggie this is the meat one and then a green tea so I wanted to get the meat one so it would be like most similar to the last one that I got and they're all kind of cracked open and they're not the most beautiful thing in the world see but we're not gonna hold that against them they could be delicious Ooh, they're hot let's give this a try really mushy it's not as chewy as I like prefer my meat substitutes to be it's really mushy very sweet and really mushy not a huge fan but not terrible yeah tastes kind of like maple syrup ketchup chunks not a fan I would give those a six out of ten if I had to say something nice the outside part is very nice and fluffy um, and that's where the compliments end. Don't like the filling. They're all kind of cracked and weird looking. Yeah, 6 out of 10 is fair. I mean, the price is nice. That's another compliment. The price is good. Well, it's like a dollar each, a little more than a dollar each, but meh. I still want to come back here for like a full meal. I don't want to judge them completely on one dish because I know that like different restaurants have different dishes that they're good at and ones that they're not so good at. And also it could just be a flavor preference on my part. Who knows? So we are headed to our third location, which is going to be Bauhaus. I'm squatting down and my legs hurt and I'm about to walk about half an hour to the next location because the only way to get there is via bus and I don't like buses. So we're just going to walk. I'll meet you there. Okay, so that was about a 40 minute walk or so. I'm pretty tired. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the nugget spot from like one of my latest videos. You guys should go there. They have awesome vegan nuggets. Oh, I found it. Bauhaus. Here we are. Let's check it out. You guys have a vegan bao, right? Can I have the fried tofu bao, please? I hope they don't mind I've moved their bench a little bit for a few minutes while I film this clip. The walk over here was not easy. Honestly, I'm not wearing like sneakers and it was like a 45 minute walk and I got shit on like by a bird. And so I had to like stop and buy wipes and like hand sanitize and wash my hands. It was just not a good time, okay? Anyway, let's put all that behind us and check out the Uncle Jesse. Now, I'm slightly, I'm slightly disappointed at the size and the price because this was $5 and 40 something cents and it is a little bit small, but we're gonna try it. It has fried tofu inside and it looks like crushed peanuts and some parsley and some sort of sauce. Bon appetit. The peanuts are a little bit sweet, very similar to the one from Spring Cafe. The tofu is really crispy, which is awesome. It's a little spicy, which balances out like the really sugary peanut, which I appreciate. All in all, maybe a seven out of 10, maybe a six and a half. I'm surprised. I'm gonna put this away. Not gonna finish it. All right, I'm super surprised that I wasn't like a huge fan of that one. Bow House has like a reputation for having good bow, so maybe like just the vegan one isn't good. I don't know, it's not terrible. Like maybe people would like it, but it was okay. It was all right. I'll give it a 6.75. Actually, no, no, I'll give it less because it was expensive for being that size. I'll give it a six. They get a six. We have one more location on our list. It is Bao Tea House, which is all the way near Washington Square Park, which means more walking for me. Can't wait. Yay. I mean, on the plus side, at least I get my cardio in for today and I burn all the calories from all the bao buns I've been eating. Honestly, I think having like my first ever bao buns at Spring Cafe really spoiled me for the rest of my bao bun tasting experience. Um, maybe even having them like as the first option today really spoiled me because so far we've had three places and two of them have not even held a candle to the first one. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that I decided to walk this whole thing. My legs are like hot and tired. However, I'm like half a block away from my last location, which is Bao Tea House. I hear they have one vegan bao option, so we're gonna go check it out. And then I'm going home and I am napping. Now that I'm here and I see the logo, I'm thinking these again are not the type of buns I was imagining. They are the uh, dumpling-y type of buns versus the sandwich-y type of buns. People that know a lot more about buns than I do, let me know the difference and like, is there a name difference? Am I just calling them both buns when I shouldn't? Yeah, not quite sure. But we're gonna get some anyway. 
Hi, can I please have a vegan fried chicken box? So here are all the options that they have. They have two vegan ones. One is the fried chicken that can be made vegan, uh, and the other one is the veggie bao. Just to keep things consistent with everything that I got today, I got the fried chicken. All right, so I'm in a better mood. I just got the baos from the final location, which is Bao Tea House, and they are adorable. This is the most money I've paid so far, which is $5.99. However, it does come with two baos, thank God. Um, they are not as big as the ones from Spring Cafe, but they are pretty cute. All I can see so far is the lettuce on them, but let's just dig in. Right off the bat, I think these are gonna be delicious. It smells like chicken wings. We have a chicken wing-like nugget patty thing. I think this is mayonnaise, lettuce, bao bun. Straight to the point, it smells delicious. I really hope this one doesn't let me down like the last two have. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Finally, another score. So good. The breaded chicken with the mayo and the fresh lettuce. Such a good combination. I love it. I almost want to give them a 9 out of 10 as well. But, hmm, this is hard. This made all the walking worth it. Part of me just really wants to finish the second one. And the other part knows I should be nice and save it for Roberto. Oh, this is going to be hard to rate. Alright, so the pluses. The bow is fluffy and delicious. The chicken is crispy and yummy and filling. The mayo lettuce combination, everything just spot on. And the deliciousness factor, I'm just gonna go up and give it like a 9.5. An overall factor, I wanna give it a nine, but then it would be tied with Spring Street, and I don't like to end these videos in a tie, but maybe I should. I'll tie it and I'll tell you why each of them deserve a good score. The Spring Street bow is huge, tasty, healthy feeling, well-priced, and just, you know, depending on how hungry you are, you can have that thing as a meal. It is that big. And that's why I got a really good score. The Bao's Tea House Bao maybe tastes a little better. I mean, I don't want to say better. It is a little bit more like American tasting because like fried chicken, you know what I mean? Versus like the braised tofu skin, which does like taste more like Asian um, inspired. I would say because of my like American taste buds, the fried chicken tastes maybe a little better. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. But they are smaller and more expensive, so if I were to have one as a meal, I would pick the Spring Street one. But like, the pros and cons are just so like, close, that I like them the same amount. Does that make sense? Can we have two winners today? I'm just gonna have two clear winners and two clear losers. On the top, we're gonna have Spring Cafe and Bao's Tea House. And then after that, we're gonna put Bao House. And then last, we're gonna have Buddha Bodai. I know I'm gonna have some haters for that because Buddha Bodai has some staunch supporters. I'm so sorry. This was just my experience and how I felt about everything. I think that's everything for today. I'm just gonna go home and nap now. I've eaten enough bao for um, several weeks. Like, if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. Is there any bao place I missed? Please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to check it out. I think this is like my new favorite food. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! As always, a huge shout out to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex, Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle, Kayleen, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Lucia, Juanita, Charlotte, Emily, Jenny, and Maria. You guys are the best, and these videos are made possible with your support.